a uh, big hand for Max Defender. Um, all the way from Turtle Mountains, the geographic center of North America. And uh, before I do this dance, I want to give a real quick, uh, real quick intro. Basically, um, there's different parts of this dance, and um, uh, just like Dan said, it's a it's a like a choreographed prayer. It's a prayer that do we could be um, restored to wholeness, to wellness, all the things that the shape of the circle represents to all peoples, well-being, not just physically or mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, but and not just individually, but collectively. And so, um, like I said, there's different uh, parts of the dance, and I always say like there's an easy part and a hard part, and I'm only going to do the easy part. The hardest way of doing that is one hoop, because it takes a lot of speed, a lot of agility, a lot of coordination, a lot of dexterity, and a lot of athleticism. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, as you add hoops, it just gets easier and easier. So I'm not going to do the hard part from one to five. I'll just do the easy part. I'll start with six and we'll go to 28 if that's okay with you all. And so we'll do that. Basically, if you, uh, when you use one hoop and you start with one hoop, uh, the designs, they celebrate our place in the hoop of life where everything is connected. Everything's interrelated. So all the designs, they celebrate that, uh, create that interrelatedness. And so I bring the hoop around my body different kind of ways. And then uh, from there, I'll just do a... What I'm gonna do is just a real quick overview to sh uh, just to show you the part that I'm not gonna do. Because it all tells a story, so for continuity's sake, I want everybody, want us to be all on the same page. So if you use one, if you use two hoops, the white one is for the moon, and then the yellow one's for the sun. And the sun, of course, is a source of energy. Now we, here we are at the very um, peak of all the power coming down from on high, the heavenly power in the form of light and heat. And everything now is embracing that, reaching up to receive a, a fuller portion, a fuller measure of that, that heavenly blessing from on high. Now you and I, we need that, but the main thing you and I need is the light of knowledge and the warmth of love. And when we have that, then we can progress, then we can advance on our journey of life. And so, as we advance, we go through stages, all of us. We go through stages. And as we go through those stages, so we inevitably will encounter an obstacle, a test, something that we have to overcome. Sometimes you can get stuck, see? You can't stay stuck. You gotta struggle to get through that, get through that, and that's what gives it, that struggle gives us the capacity to reach up. So we reach up just like a plant reaching up in the spring to receive, you know, more of that heavenly uh, blessing. And as we do that, we can begin to stand tall, just like a tree, beautiful trees you see here. And understand the Basque people planted some trees over by the capital, I believe. But as trees, and we send down our roots and we draw strength, and that's what I live about tonight, you know, because we're celebrating our, our shared roots. Whether it's African or Asian, European, of course, you can't forget our native roots because they're all trees, branches on that tree of the human family reaching up. And as we reach up, then we can begin to see each other like with a new perspective, new eyes. Like I can look out here and see a whole bunch of strangers and be scared, but I'm not because I don't see that. What I can really see is like a whole garden full of flowers, multi-hued, all bringing out, I'm talking about you, bringing out those blessings, color, fragrance, and all those good things. I can see strangers, or I can see a whole, but a whole crowd of beautiful stars, like a constellation that can bring brilliancy and radiance into this world, guidance and hope. I can see strangers, or I can see like a whole flock of eagles soaring high in this new day. Does that make sense so far? So, um, like I say, we'll start with six and go to 28. And uh, we'll make the same kind of, same designs with a different higher level of complexity, you know, more hoops. So you see them as they unfold, like the flowers, trees, birds, butterflies, animals, stars, rainbows, lightning, all these signs of spring. But really, they see the springtime we're celebrating is not that springtime out there. It's, of course, it's summer now. 
But it's that springtime that autumn can never overtake. And where does that occur? Right here. And that's with all of us here. So now that's something that celebrates. So if you see, and oh yeah, different colors represent different people too, working together. Okay, big hand for Mr. Max Defender.
Wasn't that easy? I told you, right? I said that. That's right. Now at the end, you probably saw the eagles. You all see that? With the tail and then the wings. The eagle represents us, you and I, in this day. The challenge is, just like all these hoops, which represents unity, is to see that power in unity. Then we can truly fulfill our birthright, which is to soar as eagles in this day. Soar on the wings of knowledge and understanding. And I made a design here. You can see it. It's like a design of the world. But it's also my crystal ball, see? I look into the future. But I don't have to look far. Because that future is right here. It's right now. It's right now. It's all of us working together. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. Whatever kind of eagle you are. Golden, white, black, brown. I see a lot of bald eagles out there. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry. This is our day to soar and to work together. Because in this design, it's a circle. There's no back row. No second or third row. It's all front row seats. So what happens if anybody gets left out? You guessed it. You got it. Doesn't matter which one you take out. The result always looks the same. But we're smart people. We're smart. We know how important it is to connect, to make those patterns of unity. That way we can progress. We can advance on that road of life. That way, together we can overcome and go beyond those hurdles like crossing over the rainbow, going over that bridge beyond hatred, climb that ladder of knowledge, or maybe it's a mountain. We get to the top, can we turn back? No, can't do that. All we can do is to launch our flight on our wings of knowledge. And as we know, every eagle needs a nest. We all need that nest. We need that nice, safe, secure place. It's our families, it's our communities, the place where we can stand, the place where we can open our eyes, stretch our wings and soar. Thank you so much, God bless you. Mr. Max Defender. Let's bring Dan up with a big hand right here, Mr. Dan Shee, thanks so much. Thank you. Kevin Locke, National Heritage Fellow, with the grandson of a National Heritage Fellow, Max Defender. <laughs> From South Dakota and North Dakota. I think you can see why, uh, thinking back to wh what goes into uh, selecting National Heritage Fellows, why Kevin Locke received the National Heritage Fellowship. Not only is at that high level of artistry, but he sends this message. He walks the walk as well as talks the talk in terms of embracing our cultural differences and celebrating our global heritages as human beings.